Okay, so about 20 minutes ago, maybe half an hour, somebody tweeted about the uh, PlayStation Suite um, developer program that was an open beta. Um, so I went to playstation.com slash pss slash developer, downloaded the file, it's about 287 megabytes, so it only took a few minutes, um, and then installed it, which again only took a few minutes, installed the USB driver for a device I unfortunately don't own yet. Um, but uh, away I went. Um, and then uh, what you get is you get a um, mono develop like um, development studio. You also get a, um, a UI editor, and this is what I started with. Um, so this UI composer, essentially all you do is you create a new scene. Um, you can easily add one if you want to. Uh, create a new layout, so I'll create a scene and I'll call it... I'm not actually going to use this one, so it's called Fred. Um, and you can just drag things into that like you would expect, so you can drag a slider in and a label and a button and you can give these things variable names like you know button is called button one you can give it its default text hello world um, and it will set those things up um, and then when you hit generate what it does is it uh, or hit build sorry is it builds the files that are required um, basically for every scene every one of those top level things it creates a editable file um, which is the it's exactly what you'd expect if you've done Silverlight development or if you've done Mono um, development. Then you know you get one file which you can edit and one file which is the designer or in this case the designer the composer file. So um, I did that. Um, I didn't use Fred. I used Scene One, um, imaginative name, and this is just the tip calc um, the UI from uh, from MVVM Cross. So Mono Touch, Mono Droid, Windows Phone Seven, Windows RT, um, and it's just got you know a total for the bill, a uh, bill percent, and each of these things is hooked up to a, a label and a slider just because it's more fun than entering text. Um, so I generated that and I took that over to a new project. Um, so you know this is Mono Develop. you can do a new for solution, a new project. It's a bit like Visual Studio um, and uh, the most of the recent improvements are really there in terms of uh, much better um, experience. So I generated a new project. The new project um, basically just had some shaders, which I don't really know what they are, they're graphics things, um, and it had an app main in it. The app main was much emptier than this, um, but there are some useful instructions in the supplied uh, compiled help file about how you add the high level UI system to the thing. So if you take a look through it, you'll find the UI toolkit program. I mean, you know, this is only 20 minutes ago I found it. Basically, you just add a reference to an assembly. Um, and then there are maybe five lines you have to add into the generated um, default app main. Um, once you've done that, then you can also add in your scene. Um, and that's all you have to do in the generated code. You then link in the things that you've got generated in the composer. And so that includes the language table, a string table, um, your designer file, and your UI file. So in your designer file, all it does is generate everything that was in that designer. Not too complicated. But in your UI file, when you first get it, it will look, um, if you just do this, it will look just like this guy. And obviously that doesn't contain any of your controller logic. So what you have to do is you just have to add in, so I added in a method called hooks things up. That listens to the value changed on the slider and the text change on the two text fields. And it calls a private method called recalc that does the tip calculation. With that written, unless I've broken anything, you then hit F5, your favorite button. Um, and then F5 runs up, and it should hopefully run up the emulator. Building. This has been as fast as anything, but right now it's going to crash for me. Where did you go? Okay, I haven't seen any problems, but that's in my half minute experience. Let me see if we can do that. Okay, that that has hung in like a most ungracious way. Let me just close it. See if I can open up a new one. Right, so let's see. Um, uh, this might fail miserably. Demo hell. So if I open up PlayStation SS1, um, then can I just run that from here? So if I F5, it does that, it does wait for debugger. So this is what I've seen up till now. Obviously there was a bug there, don't know what that is. And it runs up your UI. This is a PlayStation Vita simulator. You can see it's got the values in there. And if I change one of these values, hopefully it doesn't look like this on a PlayStation, 
then you'll see that the events get fired, your C sharp gets executed. Similarly with the slider, you can see it works, you know, really nicely and smoothly. Similarly with this field. And that is literally like, you know, 10 minutes work, um, starting from knowing nothing at all about PlayStation code. Um, wow, um, I wish the Xbox had something similar. It would be lovely if it did. Um, and that's it. Um, if you need to know any more, I might blog about it. Um, or follow me on Slodge on Twitter. Um, but I'm sure there'll be a lot more about this coming out. Um, excellent job, Sony. Really nice to use. Thank you.